You got almost 30 acres of property that we're going to redevelop and, and build. There's a number of things you want to do. As I said, we're building community within a community. Meet Encore, downtown Tampa's Tempo District. Developed in collaboration between the Tampa Housing Authority and Bank of America Community Development Corporation. You could also say it's downtown Tampa's Green District. That's because throughout the planning and land development process and continuing through vertical construction of individual buildings, Encore is being carefully created to follow LEED for Neighborhood Development Certification Standards. You may be asking yourself, what is LEED for Neighborhood? or LEED ND as the pros refer to it. LEED for Neighborhood Development recognizes development projects that successfully protect and enhance overall health, natural environment, and quality of life. The LEED system encourages smart growth and new urbanist best practices by promoting the location and design of neighborhoods that reduce vehicle miles traveled, or VMT, and creating developments where jobs and services are accessible by foot or public transit promoting an array of green building and green infrastructure practices, particularly more efficient energy and water use. We've really captured a lot of the features that are highlighted in the LEED certification program from a sustainability and a site development perspective. You actually get your LEED certification once the whole site's built out because each building has green features on it. We collect condensate from all of the buildings that will be built. What we do is we, when we're cooling the building, there's condensate that comes out. So rather than letting that condensate go down the drain, or go to the ground, what we do is we have pumping systems in each building that's going to be built and we have underground, in the ground we have a pumping piping system where we'll be pumping it from that building all the way into the plant. We come back to the condensate receiver tank and then we take that water and use it for makeup for the cooling tower. We've developed the Encore project on a brownfield site. Brownfield site is a site that either has real or perceived environmental issues on it. We reuse the building materials, the concrete in there, as road base. The plant selections, trees, shrubs, were all uh, based on Florida native products that do well in drought, that don't need a lot of water. We worked pretty extensively with Hart in the upfront planning of the site to ensure that their buses would be able to travel through the site and ultimately located bus stops where they thought they were most practical. In addition to that, we have a BRT, Bus Rapid Transit, that runs along the adjacent, adjacent uh, roadway, Nebraska Avenue. And we have the area for a BRT stop right in front of the Encore project area. Combine that with the fact that we're across from Amtrak and two blocks away from Hart's multimodal station for downtown, which would have ultimately been and hopefully will be the station for light rail. And you really do have transit-oriented development incorporated into the Encore project. Local material, stuff that's been used in Florida for over 100 years that we know is going to work. It's not newfangled. We don't have to ship it in from uh, the Northwest or even overseas. So U.S.-based and specifically Southeast-based products that are uh, readily available and tend to hold up better in a Florida sun environment are, are good choices to make. One other sustainable site feature or component that I think is, is worth noting is the rehabilitation and the preservation of the St. James Episcopal Church. The ultimate intent of the St. James Episcopal Church there is to turn it into an African American museum. Permeable brick pavers in the town green that allow water to filter straight through the pavers and directly recharge the groundwater system as instead of taking it to a localized stormwater retention system. And if you notice, they have what's called a solar array, a photovoltaic. And a photovoltaic is a unique green concept where what happens is we're taking power from the sun, energy from the sun, and converting it over and putting it in Tico's grid. Uh, the solar array makes about 2,000 kilowatts of uh, power. Uh, that system feeds directly into an inverter on the other side, which powers back into the grid. When you're making uh, solar energy, we have the solar panels up here. The sun shines on the solar panels. And it goes through these inverters. What these inverters do is convert it into electricity so they can go back to Tico's grid. The features of this park, it's called Technology Park, it's this uh, storage stormwater vault. The slickest, coolest feature that we've done from a sustainability perspective, I, I just don't think that anything can top the, the stormwater vault. It is one of the most unique stormwater management systems probably in the state just because of its size. It's an 18,000 square foot vault that accommodates 33,000 cubic feet of stormwater. So the stormwater vault collects all the runoff water from the site, and then when we need to do irrigation, there's a pump that irrigates the landscaping. We're recycling water, 
storm water that's free for the uh, maintaining of the foliage and the plant. What we've done here is we've taken a 28 acre site and we've accommodated all of the stormwater management into an 18,000 square foot area. It's 18,000 square feet versus about six acres. So if we had done a conventional stormwater management system out here, we would have lost three developable lots. And it is by far one of the slickest rainwater harvesting features in, in the state of Florida. No, there's no question about it. It's just not done at that scale under normal conditions and certainly as not part of a public infrastructure project. So there you have it. A look behind the curtain of downtown Tampa's Green District, where success lies within our ability to design and develop a resilient, sustainable place that maximizes technology to minimize environmental impact. Learn more about Encore by visiting EncoreTampa.com or like us on Facebook.